Yo, 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 yo. Nah, 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 nah. This surf versus good shit is getting crazy. So first of all, like they go, this goes back a long, long way. But I'm, I'm gonna start here. Salute to everybody that watches this content. Whoop de whoop. Let's get it. So, <sighs> goods. I'll start with goods, all right? Goods, the animal, the Bronx. A lot of people. Like, Goods has been around forever, right? So, Goods is the MC. Obviously, everybody knows that uh, not the most lyrical. You know, he's not going to wow you with the 30 under the 40. That's the improper fraction. He's not going to have triple entendres or bars that you got to, you know, if I chase a nigga, Glock's break a nigga, you get the open hand fist to the deuce, rock, paper, scissors you to death. He's not, he's not coming with that. But we're not going to act like He's not one of the most consistent battlers ever. Goods don't lose that much. I be having um, conversations with my bro Maserati, and he he be like, yo, like what battles has Goods really lost? And I be having to really look through his catalog, and I could nitpick ones like here and there, the hollow with the bottle getting thrown and things like that. But these battles are mad long ago, when the time was still down in the corner. From the Lions then, Goods has been consistently consistent. So we not gonna do this whole, oh, well, what does he say? Where's his punchlines? Let's break down his bars. Like, that's the shit niggas really be saying. Like, in battle rap, people really care. And they don't even care about wins and losses in battle rap. Like, niggas don't even care. You see this nigga lose 10 times in a row, they win one good battle, and everybody's like, oh, they back, they back, they back. Really? And then they go lose three more battles, and then they win one, and then it's like repetitive cycle. It's like, nah, we're not doing that. So, everybody no goods, like, since the beginning of the shit, been one of the cool nigga. You know, come to the battles, he's dressed fly, you know, he, 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 bring, he brings out the crowds, like he's always the main event in whatever he's in, like or any stage or any scenario that he's in. Summer Madness, his gnomes, niggas know what goods do. He battles Tay Rock, he has a good battle with Rock. He battles Geechee, that battle really wasn't the greatest, they was battling on Sesame Street with a fake background as far as like, not even real, this shit was horrible, that whole volume, I'm, I hope they never go there again. So, y'all be acting like, now people want to act like Goods ain't a quality caliber opponent for a surf, and I think that's not true. Like, it's not, period. Okay, there's a lot of MCs who's not the most lyrical. Hitman Holler's not the most lyrical MC in the world, but he entertains. What's, what Goods does very well, other niggas can't do. What he does well. The stage presence. Y'all be like, oh, you gotta know he he's not a performer. He performs. He performs in his own way though. You know, standing up there with the cup of handy and then pass the cup of handy off and then rap. like that's talent. That's an aura. Like y'all be like, oh, like he ain't come on dog. Like, so good says to surf. I'm not gonna lie, this is very funny. I'm fine, I'm proud of homie that he actually made it this far where I can actually talk money with him. Only took him 14 years, but y'all remember this. It's not about how much money you have, but what you do with it. Saying, you know, Surf is talking about all this money. Everybody talking about getting to this bag, this money, et cetera. Whoopie, whoopie, whoop. And they was even talking about putting $250,000 on the table at the face-off. I think that's a bit much, but if you got it, you got it. So, you know, they're going back. And this is what I will say, and this is the goods part, you know what I'm saying? When I'm speaking about him first, and then I'm going to speak about Surf, and then I'm going to mix it all together with the pot, with the Pot, salute to Lou Castro, Bronx, yeah. So, Goods has his, the points that he's standing on, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I've been doing this consistently for this long, you know? If I'm so, if I'm not that great, or if I'm not this, or if I don't have moments, why can't, no, why isn't that, why am I not consistently getting beat? Why am I getting paid this much? And he has a point. What he does well, you know, is promote himself when he has to. Because the thing is, the knock on Goods for a while, was that he wasn't promoting. He wasn't building battles. He was just showing up, rapping, and leaving. There's other niggas who do that too. Ill Will does it. Rum Nitty does it. A lot of niggas, they just show up, rap, leave. That's what you do? Cool. It's nothing wrong with that. You can still be great. But you don't have situations where Geechee Gotti has like no studio and then merchandise and then music and finding all these ways to make money because you're not promoting yourself. We can't... Promotion is not just showing up to some of man that's rapping for 20 minutes and then going home and we don't see you again until the next year on a big car. So, since then, what has he done? He's got the sneakers out. 
He's got the uh, he's got his show on caffeine, nothing but goods. He's branding himself. He's doing the music, so now he's continuing to build his brand. So, Sue Surf, right? Uh, goes on a streak, battles, wins three battles in a row, damn near thirties, and now you know he's talking his goods. And the thing is, he had like I was hearing clips. They was playing him. I seen him on Twitter and things like that. Where it was mad different people saying, oh, he's trash, he's trash, he ain't got it, he ain't got bars. You ain't got bars like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's not good. Even Drug said he would be good. I'm going to let that be what it is. But uh, these, like, the narratives, you know what I'm saying? That everybody wants to create their own narrative. And narratives are created, it happens all the time. With Sue Surf's career and where he's at right now, he's doing great. You know, he's got the Midnight Madness, he's been doing battles, he was supposed to battle Cortez, that didn't happen, I'm sure, to get it rescheduled. And one thing that was always consistent with Surf was rap. Like, he could, like, no matter how many battles he showed up, he didn't bring three rounds, and all this other shit that he was doing at the time, not focused on battles, not trying to be the, the, the star that, he's, that he had the potential to be. Um, he always had bars. He always had different modes, he had different flows. First thing when I touched down, Surf the Midwest grooving. Such and such doing this. Y'all you know, y'all know. Even to most recently, lock, pick the door, and stick my face in, ass running around Jason. Uh, I've been had classics over the net, Federer. You know what I mean? You wanna speak to the inmate press? Not like he has mad quotables. I could be here all day. And these are the ones I ain't got no notes, I ain't got nothing all freestyle. You know how I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he got mad quotables, he got mad moments, right? When it comes to goods, Surf is able to talk down lyrically, status-wise, imagery, perception, persona. He's able to talk down to like 98% of battle rap. He can do that. He's earned it. He's, he's got his spot. He's earned it. It's been what it is. But goods is not one of them. Like, you can't talk down the goods about nothing, really. Not money. You know what I mean? They both got money, you know? It'd be like, oh, did they say, oh, you don't, you don't got a house. I heard Surf say you don't have a house. I mean, goods don't have a house. A lot of niggas don't got a house. I do. But I mean, a lot of niggas ain't got houses. So I don't think that that's a uh, sufficient uh, point to make when you say, I mean, he has a place. He, he's not homeless. You know what I'm saying? So if some, some niggas want condos. There's a lot of niggas that want condos that don't want the responsibility. I tell you, in owning a house... I had two houses. I actually sold one recently. Um, when you own houses, you're responsible for everything. Like, the, everything that goes on in there. If your electric goes out, you can't just call the landlord. Uh, if your water heater breaks, you can't just, you know, call the landlord and come replace it. It's a lot of responsibility in owning property. But it's a, the beauty in property is once the value rises and you sell it, you make a big bag on the end. Cha-ching! So, when it comes to that, you can't really little boy Goods because Goods was here before you was. You know what I'm saying? Like really, like he was he was in Lions Den, he was on URL. He had a name, and he's one of the few that was around from that time that's still relevant, still main staging, still big carding, still don't call me for no little names. They wouldn't call Goods for half of the niggas that a lot of these people rap. So um, another thing that Surf said that. Goods don't, he only battles niggas that they have stories to. It's got to be a story to it. And then he can, you know, put it together his angles and pick them apart. I don't feel like him and uh, him and T-Top, they didn't have no story. There wasn't no storyline. It was like T-Top was the hottest new nigga at the time. You know, Goods is one of them ones that gave him the battle, et cetera, et cetera. And there's other battles that I can, I mean, if I look through Goods' catalog, I can see the battles that he had that didn't have storylines. So I don't think that that's something that's legit. But... Another thing is, it was like, oh, Goods don't battle. He, he, he said that a while ago, though. Like, he don't like battling every month. He don't want to be the nigga that's um, on every card. He don't want to be in tournaments. Like, he don't want to do none of that. Like, that fast rapping shit that, oh, uh, you beat somebody today and you got 10 days till another battle. He didn't want to do that. He's never, wanted, he's never been interested in that. He also said he stays away from, like, you know, spaces and all these other things that people are in nowadays. And I respect his perspective because, you know... People, they, like with Goods, you, you get what you get. So, and another thing as I was going to say, was Goods has been promoting 
more so for this battle than ever. He put out paperwork for like a PPP loan and then Surf responded, it was like, that's my father, that's not even me, and things like that. And then uh, they put out like, uh, Surf said, quiet, don't be saying shit in public if you're gonna get a chain and tuck it. You know what I'm saying? There's footage of like goods, I guess, tucking his chain in or something like that, but whatever the case may be, I mean, it is what it is. When it comes to that, uh, and then they're going back and forth arguing about jewelry. I guess uh, Sue Surf said his chains cost 100000 and then Goods' chains cost 5000 and Goods got, like, paperwork. Like, these niggas have a true, legit beef. Not a beef, like, taking it to the street and warring with each other and shit like that. But as far as rap goes, their grudge would probably be bigger than uh, Cortez versus Surf. You know what I'm saying? But the fight is so, like, their fight is... Totally sold. Uh, and Surf goes out and puts and puts out all of the blogs and things and interviews that Goods has had speaking about him, saying this spells envy, jealousy, hate. Surf is bigger than I. Don't think his skin. He's trying to stunt. No need to. No need to battle you already. You already hate me. He said that hurts more. Go eat a Frank. Find a battle. Goods is. I mean, Surf is basically saying I'm not battling you. I heard him saying that I'm not going to battle him. Things like that. And then he was saying like. If I battle goods, I need a hundred. If I battle daylight, I need like big, big, big money. And there's nothing wrong with that. Get your back. But I will say, this is more than I've seen goods promote for any battle or talk about or be ready for or get in tune with any battle. And I spoke to goods yesterday real quick, you know what I'm saying, through the text and shit like that. And he sees the energy and he put out a blog. He was talking about uh, surf and he was talking about things like that. And I speak to surf too, you know what I'm saying? I didn't speak to him yesterday, but I do speak to him and... I know he's carrying it the way he's supposed to be. He's the energy, he's the wave, and he's who they want. But my question to y'all is, does it matter that Goods is not the most lyrical MC in the world? Does it matter to me? I don't think it has any uh, any any importance because it all matters about when you're on that stage. You know, <laughs> like you could be whoever nice as you want, but if you ain't got it when it matters, does it matter? Okay.